my name is Beth Mackey. I'm a dispatcher out of Rogers County in Oklahoma. Um, we're just outside of Tulsa. Um, I have been a 911 dispatcher for just under six months. This job to be stressful. Uh, we have a lot that we hear over the phone that we don't necessarily get to find out what happens on the other end, don't necessarily get closure. Um, but it is a very rewarding job that at the end of the day, you know, you went home and you can tell your spouse, you know, we did make a difference today. I performed CPR on the phone for somebody and they lived or we were able to get responders to a location to ensure someone's safety. So this job definitely has its benefits. There's a lot of downfalls working as a dispatcher. Some people can't handle it. Some people don't, weren't exactly prepared when they started this job for what they would hear and the things that they can't control. Uh, so that is a downfall to being a dispatcher. But at the end of the day, what keeps me here is a team that I can lean on when I have a hard call or um, a management team that's there for us. And it definitely makes all the hard moments worth being here every day to ensure that our community is safe. As 911 dispatchers, I mean, we are the first line of essentially defense for anybody that calls in, whether they need police, fire, or medical, we are the first person to talk to, first person to get the ball rolling and get the responders. So to me, I would classify all 911 dispatchers and call takers and anyone on radio traffic as a first responder. And I think that's something that should be across the board, not just state level, but federal, because we are the first ones to be on the phone, to be getting responders there. Sometimes, like I said, doing CPR on the phone with these people or telling them how to do the Heimlich or telling them to get to a safe spot or whatever it is that we can do. We are that first line of defense. And I certainly think that more recognition would ensure that people might feel appreciated and want to stay in this job because that is it is a hard job and to not be recognized and people just think, oh, you know, they're just the police officer secretary. Like, it's not how it is at all. We have so much more beyond just doing things for the officers. And I don't think people necessarily understand that.